What's going on guys, it's your boy Mason here. In today's video, we are going to be installing the radiator guard on my 23 Kawasaki Vulcan 650. First, I wanna say I apologize for not posting at all last week, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, I post every day, Monday through Friday on auto body, auto mechanics, and how-tos. But I just got done with the move from Missouri to South Carolina, and now we've got another move right around the corner that is coming a lot faster than I ever planned on. So with everything going on, I just haven't been able to put out the content. So for right now, we're gonna bring it down to three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And if I can put it one out Tuesday and Thursday, I definitely will. I do apologize for that, guys. I'm trying to stay very active on this channel and get to where I can do this full time. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and check out all the videos I post. I greatly appreciate all the support, and even though this ain't a big channel, every subscriber, every like, every comment means a lot to me, more than you guys know. So let's get into this video. So this is the Rad Guard I got. I got it off Amazon. It cost me about $55. There's a lot of different option ones you guys can go with. Personally, I like this one the best. I just don't like the ones that say Vulcan all the way across them. So this is the one I decided to go with. It did not come with any instructions, just this bag in this weather strip here. So most of the time when I do videos, I do my research before I do them. On this one, I haven't because I'm trying to get this content out here. So just looking at it, I believe what we're gonna have to do is take off this panel on both sides. So we've got an Allen key here, an Allen key here, and then one up here. And I believe when we get this bracket off, I'm just guessing there's going to be another Allen key probably behind it holding it on. So we're gonna go ahead and get both of those off. You guys are tired of messing around with the kit it comes with. You don't got a lot of money to spend. You can go to Harbor Freight and get this kit here. I think it cost me about four or five bucks and it has every Allen key you need. And one side has the swivel so you can get them at an angle. The other side is the straight head. Top one is a 530 seconds and our two smaller ones are 764. All right, looks like we got one more right here we're gonna have to take out. And it's a 316. Now we got this side off, we're gonna go to the other side. Right, and now we have both sides of the radiator exposed. So we're gonna grab our guard. This up, see what we're looking like. So easy enough guys, there's a little lip on the top here, so you can see that it will connect in here, and then all we do is put on our brackets here, then we put the fairing bolt on, that middle bolt, this one right here, it'll actually run through there. You can see they've got it notched up around the relay, and it, it fits perfectly. I've seen a lot of people have problems with these, I don't know if it's a difference with them having older bikes compared to being on a 23, most likely it is, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get this thing put right back together. So there's a little push in here that we got to make sure it actually snaps back in. Guys, so I have it all back together now. My assumption with this rubber seal is that you're supposed to put it on top of the radiator here because pushing back against it has a little bit of noise and that'll tighten it up, up and down. It does not have any. So it is nice and tight, except it does have a little bit of a noise there. So you should probably put yours on before you install this. Uh, I was almost done putting it on that side. And I was completely done with this side when I noticed this. So I'm just gonna snake mine down in there. Uh, and then we should be good to go. So other than that guys, as far as any parts I've bought for this bike, this has been the simplest install because most of the stuff I've bought for this bike hasn't been OEM from Kawasaki. So I've had to do fabricating on pretty much everything. But this right here is very cheap. It'll cost you about $55 and take maybe 20 minutes of your time to do as long as you have the right Allen keys. 
and uh, this one turned out great like i said i will link this down in the description if you guys enjoyed the video definitely hit that like button subscribe to the channel for more weekly content i do post weekly but we are pulling back a little bit monday wednesdays and fridays on auto body auto mechanics and how to's if you want to see more on the kawasaki hit the channel hit the playlist and i have a whole playlist on this bike itself i appreciate you guys checking in and i'll catch you in the next one